Hey you guys, this is Janice Wilson Hughes here in my Evolution Stoneware Pottery Studio for another quick tip on how to rehydrate clay. Now if you follow my videos, you know that I've recently done videos on two different methods on rehydrating entire 25 pound blocks of clay. What I'm going to show you today is going to build on the second method that I showed you, but apply that to just a little piece of clay. Now, what you can do with this is take bone dry clay, say maybe a chunk of slab that you rolled out previously, it got dry but you really need to use it. Instead of rolling out a new piece and reclaiming that dry piece, you can go from bone dry to completely workable and joinable to another piece of clay in about 15 minutes. I'm going to show you how. Check it out. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of times when I need to work with a slab, I will roll out more than I need. And then I tend to keep that around thinking, well, depending on what I make tomorrow, I might be able to use the rest of this. And then sometimes it just dries out and doesn't get used. Well, I'm gonna take a little piece of slab here. This is very, very hard. This is bone dry. And go ahead and rehydrate this too, to a point where it would be workable to join to the bottom of a small pot or something like that. I'm going to use a baggie. If you had a bigger piece of clay, you could use a larger bag, like a large freezer bag. So take my clay, put it here in my bag, and I'm just going to add some water to it. So I've got my sponge wet. I'm going to squeeze some water in here. This has a lot of surface area to it, so it should absorb the water very quickly. I'm going to use the water in the bucket here to push the air out of the bag. And then seal it up. Be sure that you actually seal it. You don't want this to fill up with water. You just want to use the small amount of water that you control, that you chose to put in there. Get this started. There we go. Okay. So, almost no air in this bag. Got water in here. Gonna drop it down in this bucket. Well, the water pressure from all the water in the bucket Again, it's going to distribute that water around the slab of clay and apply pressure so that the water absorbs in and rehydrates that clay. And we'll check back. Okay, here's our slab. Whoop. Now, remember, this was rock hard earlier. This is a totally pliable piece of clay now. You could certainly join this onto the bottom of a pot at this point if you wanted to. That is pretty sweet in my book. And you may have your doubts, think that maybe it will crack later. Well, I did this yesterday and it worked wonderfully and it's still holding up. The pot is dry now and everything looks good. So hope this helps you guys in your own studio and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Whoops.